Still you can't be fed up Go girls with the left and the right uh, Go girls like the What is going on guys? Son of Feast here. It is game six. As the Thunders are back at Utah playing against the Jazz. This time, OKC leads 3-2. But what could Jazz do with Donovan Mitchell, Mike Conley, and Rudy Gobert without Ricky Rubio? Well, we'll have to find out right now. There might be another choice to come out by between, but we all know what's coming through. So with that, it, there's a, it's hard to uh, find out who will reach into the game seven, but this is all we've got. And there's only a few games left. So far, we have is Dallas moving on to the next round, and, and LA, 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 LA Lakers, and move on to the next round with the Sixers. So for that being said. There's only a few, a uh, few more matches before round two begins, and if it appears to be game seven, this is going to be a very tough start, showing from game six to seven to finish the series. But the city court is back underway. Let's check out the pregame show. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Jazz in Salt Lake City, and for Utah. This is going to be a great test of their ability to match up against any style of opponent. The front office had that in mind when this roster was constructed. We'll see how it actually plays out tonight. And Coach Billy Donovan, not too long ago, made the jump from college to the NBA. Kenny, that's never an easy transition. They're two completely different worlds, aren't they? You know, the college game and the pro game, two different. But how you fill out your roster... And how the game is played is totally different, but Billy's doing a great job of handling it. Yeah, he is. We've seen a lot of recent college coaches like Brad Stevens make a fairly seamless transition. Uh, but the, for, the, for Billy Donovan, I think the jury's still out. Well, that's a wrap for here. We'll join you uh, a bit later. Sometimes a little bit later, but uh, it may not be too consumer that long, but I'm just... I just didn't stop recording. I just uh, I just uh, left it on to show what the pregame show is about. But yes, I did get rid of the uh, part of uh, the copyright claim music uh, back up uh, from my enthusiasts. But anyways, but that being said, the sixth game is on. But let's first have a talk with David Aldridge. David. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said. There's always challenges, and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. And Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the jazz is always a factor. He is doing it. He is. Coach That's Snyder good. trying to make it challenging, but this might be a very good matchup to find out. I'm going to show you good Gordon Alexander and Donovan Mitchell about a key matchup. Us as and by that moment, it won't be that hard while they're looking for the uh, only uh, best player on the team, Stephen Adams, with an only block that made after the foul was being put up. But Adams, we're gonna try. He's gonna try to figure it out if he can do it again. And Billy Donovan, the head coach, came from college to the NBA as the uh, as the head coach. So right now, here's the tip off. Game six. Starts now. Jazz wins the tip off. Now Conley against Paul. Only only eight points back in the last game in game five. Back to Conley. But in that being said, let's see how many points can Conley get. Pass to Mitchell. He passed to Mitchell back to Conley. Just five seconds to go. With the shot, O'Neal. It's good from deep. And that's the first bucket for O'Neal since he never got a shot attempt, but he finally did. Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Harlan are their commentators. Dort passed to Gallinari, covered by Bogdanovich. Now, now I'll show you. Gilgorgic's Alexander can't tie it up. Now O'Neal, go there with the shot. Rudy Gobert getting it done off contact. Love the increase in his focus on the offensive end. Now in the other way, just six minutes. As the score comes up by five to zero. The bounce pass. Oh, covered by Gallinari. 
Gallinari's shot is good and makes the fadeaway jumper over Bogdanovich. Gallinari's got two. Five to two as uh, OKC went on the board. On the paint, the rejection by Chris Paul. Shea outside. He passes up to Gallinari. Chris rolling over to Dort. Dort up. There's a rebound by Mitchell after Dort, after Dort went missing. Mitchell kicks to Gobert, right from Conley. O'Neal. Steven Adams grabs his first rebound of the game. After O'Neal missed the shot. Shai on the corner. Gilgoris Alexander to Adams. Under five minutes gone by in the first quarter. Gallinari the layup. And he lays it with four points. Season move. Great concentration from Gallinari. A lot of concentrations are putting up on the board, but that's how it's but that's how it gets used to it. Here's Conley. By moving the ball around. Now here's Conley. Covered by Paul with the first rejection. The fadeaway. It's good. Four thirty to play. Here's Paul. Paul passes to Gallinari. Gallinari to Gilgorgix Alexander. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The fadeaway. Oh, the shot's good. And Donovan Mitchell picks up his first personal foul. Shai with a nice move. Round underneath the rim. Went right around the Donovan Mitchell, but didn't get didn't get hit by Rudy Gobert with the block shot. So that shot counts for two points for Shai Gilgorgix Alexander. And he'll be shooting one shot. To tie it up. Shai missed it, and the tie doesn't count in. After last season with Shai Gilgorgix Alexander, he played with the Clippers the last time he just came in. Preseason was definitely way off. With, uh, with Danilo Gallinari, but this time it doesn't happen what uh, what Shea has done so far. So for Chris Paul, is is gone really really well in the quarter. But by that time, it might be too off for uh, for between Gilbert Alexander or Gallinari because the other players might be covering on the defense. After the bucket by Gallinari, here is Conley. Conley only gets two points. Covered by Chris Paul. Dishes off to Mitchell. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell. Rebounded by Gil Gordix Alexander. We're not with a miss. Here's Adams. He passes off to Chris Paul. Paul dishes up to Gil Gordix Alexander. The foul goes on Mitchell. His second. And now only two points at the line. If it's a, if it's a tie or if it's one point behind Jazz. Keep defenders off balance. For Oklahoma City, they have shot just one free throw, missing that one early. Only one free throw that time for uh, for OKC, but now uh, Shai will do one again. As the other players are still standing on the outside. Getting ready to uh, to get the rebound in. Shai makes the first one in. Here are some Shea new changes here. Chris Paul, Dort, and Gallinari with Adams. Sazam, Muscala, Noel, Ferguson, and Schroeder are checked in. Mitchell and O'Neal are checked out. And now it's Ingles and Clarkson back in. And it's Clarkson in for Donovan Mitchell. Both free throws went in for Shea Gilgorgix Alexander. Four points. And they uh, they lead by one. Conley against Schroeder. Schroeder coming out here wide. Gobert, great pass. Conley with the layup. Is it an option? The has That's the first assist by uh, Rudy Gobert. His first assist. Now we come under three minutes. Schroeder dish to Muscala. Schroeder with outside. Throwing deep, no good. But Donovich picks up his first rebound. 
Charlie open. Schroeder with the rebound as he wants to go for it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire Pass blocked. Ingles take it away. To the paint. Finds Gobert. Grabs one again. Pass to Bogdanovich. Pass to Clarkson. Pass to Clarkson for three. Miss again. Bogdanovich with a well done move and rebounded again. Bogdanovich, a talented scorer. Shooter outside, still missing a shot, but we're, we are pulling up too much already. Shea back to Shooter. Gilgorius Alexander to Ferguson. Here's Ferguson. The drive. One handed, no good, just two minutes left. This is the way you play defense. This is how you play. Foul and one by Clarkson. Shea Gilgorius Alexander has his first personal foul. There are a couple of points in the paint. Six points for OKC and 12 for Utah. And that was a pass by Joe Ingles. Not even picking up his pace again, but he's, uh, he's looking really well. From all three levels. Davis has jumped in for the Jazz. Emmanuel Davis Rudy checked in for the Jazz by Rudy Gobert. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. And then Donovan. And, and then, uh, um, Gilgis Alexander. I, I don't know what you call that, but, uh... Emmanuel Moutier has been checked in, too. Clarkson will take one shot. He's all right. He's about to take a shot. For the Cavs, he had a hard time. Free throw good. Free throw good for Clarkson. And they are leading by six. have a presence on social media. aiming at educating. Shooter, pass to Muscala. And why their name? Yes. Muscala dish to Ferguson. Bounce pass to Noel. Plays and games and situations that you educate fans. It's Noel to Ferguson, fans. right over to Schroeder. Over Moutier. And that's two points for Schroeder as he's got his first basket. We still got to understand they're human and they're going to miss some calls. Well said, Steve. We've got 128 left here in the opening quarter. Under a minute and a half, here's Moutier. Moutier up, and a rejection by Noel. It was not Steven Adams, it's something different. Nice drive for Noel, and that's also two for, for Nerland Noel. Nerland has finally got two points. They're pushing back in by two. Moutier against the shooter, rolling around to Clarkson. The screen on Gobert. Moutier, that counts. Muscala has his first personal foul after Moutier has counted the basket for two points. He brings the effort and he brings the energy. For Utah, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. Moutier will take one shot. What if each team has a uh, has a personal foul for shooting? Moody. Moutier can't hit the number. Can't hit the first one shot to take. What a pass! Diallo with a long pass by Ferguson, and that's a first assist and the first points for Diallo. What a long pass here, yeah, yeah, Ferguson. Way to go. What a play. 50% here tonight. There's the pass to Gobert. Gobert right over to Clarkson. Clarkson. Clarkson dishes to Moutier. Lays it up. Lays it up. Moutier has three. Has, has three. To start this game. And then four points. They can keep it going. As some Diallo right outside, covered by Clarkson. Will adjust. Oh, here's Diallo. Diallo, Muscala recovered. And he recovers it. We've got a nine second I think that was a block by Rudy Gobert, but I don't know who. Here's Schroeder. Schroeder missed the two off from the inside. He's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Rebounded by Davis. Moutier to Ingles. Here's Ingles. Ingles at the shot. And the offense cannot put the put the buzz meter as the first quarter has ended. 
20 to 16 is your score. This game is going really far, Ralph. Chris Paul checked out as Dennis Schroeder is checked in. And also we have some making some changes here. Gunnari and Adams are checked out. And then it's Muscala and Noel back in. And then by Jazz, Rudy and O'Neal. O'Neal and Clarkson back in. Gobert with another block shot. Clarkson up. The drive is good. The Utah Jazz are looking forward to finish and crush the OKC, but that doesn't mean they're going to have to do it. They want the, to win the finals. The foul, the foul on Clarkson. That's a second. Third team foul for Utah. Coach Snyder looking silent, trying to uh, think up, a, think up the, the defensive uh, routine. Shooting two is Diallo. Diallo hits the first free throw. Just 2.14 left to play. You're going to be a close neck to neck call if he makes another one in. The Saints, too. Now they're neck and neck each other. O'Neal only has uh, six points. I thought it's eight points, but I, I don't know. Go Bear! Fade away! Jumper is good. That's ten points for uh, Go Bear. And sent back by Go Bear. Went too quick here, but not enough to keep up with it. Ingles passed to Clarkson. Almost took it away, and it's turned over. Last touch by Clarkson, and that's OKC ball. Conley back in, checking in by O'Neal. One forty-one left to play in the third quarter. Noel against Gobert. Dennis Schroeder kicking it over to Diallo. Diallo kicks it over to Schroeder. Screen on Noel. The shot over Gobert. And that one's good. Diallo got another one. And has 12 points. Not for that long. They're way in the lead right now. Only the points come up by Donovan Mitchell. Schroeder. But he, beats every he ties it. Punch. Wait, he leads it. That's a. That was a mistake. Uh, Dennis Schroeder leads the leads the point by one, and Schroeder has six points. Down to one minute. Down to one minute. Here's Clarkson. Clarkson against the yellow. Donovan with the screen. Three pointers off target. Thunder have gone 7-9 for the field. 7-9 on the field, the field goal. Tremendous shooting from Ferguson looking for a man to open. Here's Ferguson for Mike Conley. He finds Muscala. Muscala back to Ferguson. Back over to Muscala. For three for Schroeder. Rebound by Gobert as the man's are tough defender. In the game. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. Oh, Diallo! What a takeaway! And pulling it back by Clarkson. And they're going to have to take the lead if he makes it. Conley with the lead. No, didn't make it that time. That's the end of the third quarter. And they are battling out. 56 to 55, a close call. If Funders have the lead, then they win. If the Utah Jazz is, if the Utah Jazz wins, then we are going to Game Seven. We'll be right back. A different look from Utah and OKC as Shai is back in, subbing in by Diallo. And now Mitchell coming in, big the drive, and there for he has number two. Ingles and Moody A are subbed out. Conley and McDonavich are checked back in. Shai outside. 
Uh, Vigdanovich with a stop in motion and with the rebound. Conley against Ball. He finds Mitchell. The early foul on Gallinari as this, that's uh, first personal. Second team foul on OKC. Donovan Mitchell didn't seem to look at the basket, but he went from on target that time. It went pushed off too early before Steven Adams was called a foul. It's his aggressiveness for me that puts him over the top. This time, two for Donovan Mitchell. Races that spotlight. The first That's the first free throw for Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's versatility as a score. Half court. Donovan Mitchell just one shot line, going on here. His game. He was ready to play right now, but his officials say is uh, he shouldn't. He should not be ready. He needs to be. Uh, he needs to be warmed up and be ready for out here in the game. That's what he needs to do to uh, to get get ready for the uh, for the next uh, competition of the game. Gallinari out. The two pointer will go in. In that role. So they are catching up right now, but the Jazz are pulling another note on the OKC Thunders. Vidanovich finds Conley. Screen on Davis. I'm not remiss by Utah. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Dort with the wide open shot, and that was clear for a clear pass assist by Steven Adams. Gallinari has eight. Donovan Mitchell bringing up the pace here. The foul is on Steven Adams, his second personal foul. 13th foul for OKC, and for that, Donovan Mitchell going to the free throw line again. Billy Donovan getting a little bit, getting a little bit dizzy. Utah is shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the ball line. He's tonight. getting really sick and tired of, uh, of what it just happened with the defense. Two shots for Donovan Mitchell. And then substitutions. Free throw. Now here are some subs for uh, for Jazz as Clarkson and Gobert are checked back in by O'Neal and Davis. I think Kevin, different parts of the playing really well that time, but not not too much waste, but, uh, but it's fine. Like going up for rebounds, they let a lot more. That's two free throws for Mitchell, lead it up by more. And they find their way. Yeah, Here's a look at the uh, free throws. That's only three out of five. Goes out by OKC. Six to eight for Utah Jazz. Holded by Gallinari. Gobert with the block. Under two minutes left. Clarkson with the five. That shot went way off. Ball passes to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, the block by Gobert! Seriously, how does Gobert do well? And fall. Conley picks up another bucket. Timeout called by OKC. I was wishing that Chris Paul would like to face against uh, James Harden. But, uh, but what happened with the dynamic duo already? This is not looking good right now by Steven Adams and Chris Paul. They really want to tie it up and they want to go finish it off in round one series in game seven. That will not change the ability if they're going to do it again. Now I'm going to have to find find out and let's. I'm letting Steven Adams guarding on Rudy Gobert. Don't want to uh, get him away that time. Seems to be the right call as I as I just said. So I'm subbing those two players out, Ferguson and Shooter. Dort and Chris Paul are subbed out. Shooter back out here. Only two points, not able to pick it up so far. Uh, drive is good. That's four points for Schroeder. 
right around Conley, but it's also the picking up with uh, on the side uh, of the note. The mind of shooters. Mitchell on the street Jeez. with Gobert, making it fly. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Noel on the cover. The feed to Conley. Conley sweeped in the move. Just one minute to go. 37 to 32 is your score. Gilgorjic on the drive and Mitchell, a first personal foul. That's going to be their second team foul for Utah Jazz this time. Not being that too good with the shots between OKC or, uh, or Brooklyn Nets. 55.8 seconds to go. Gil Gorgics Alexander taking the two. And the first shot for to show you Gil Gorgics Alexander makes one in. That's his last season as they as they finally played against the in the uh, oh in the uh, LA Clippers with uh, with Gallinari, but their officials say they want they want to make another uh, they want excuse me they want some better team that they that they need to find another job in OKC, but this time here's Conley. Oh, Schroeder went out. And right from the side, how does he do that? Schroeder outside. Schroeder outside, covered by Conley. Around Gobert, and Gobert with the block. But Sherry Gilbertix Alexander and Gallinari decide to give it a go and wants to try it out. Gobert, nice scoop! And they're extending the lead by five. Shay outside, covered by Donovan Mitchell. Ten seconds left. Here's Ferguson. And there is a foul on Clarkson, his first. That'll be their third team foul for Jazz. And it's the clock is stopped with 6.8 seconds. Ferguson going to the line to shoot two. First free throw, heads in. Ferguson, not only the person that wants to succeed, but have but have knowledge and make a perfect play without any uh, fouls. And that's the only way that you gotta know to make it to make it look perfect and outside as well. So he gets them both. He gets both free throws. Five seconds to go. Donovan Mitchell will leave it off from here. Oh, he made the he made the shot before the buzz feeder was announced. There's a buzz sound, and the game is finally closed with first half. 41 to 36. Racked it up as Donovan Mitchell's back in again. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge. Snyder. Or Billy Donovan. Here with head Donovan. coach Billy Donovan. Coach, it's been back and forth in the first half. What's it going to come down to? Well, obviously it's close. We don't play against a great team, so we just got to keep grinding and keep playing. We'll see how it turns out, coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right. Still looking for a win? We'll find out after this. Don't go anywhere, folks. The city court looking very good right now as they are they are really loving this court by the by seeing this name Utah and the uh, and the background court. I don't know what that is, but uh, I have no idea what could that be for. If it's the only hill that I was looking out for. But you may not know. Donovan Mitchell with 14 points, and yes, uh, John Har Harlan is a. Uh, 
And yes, uh, and yes uh, they officially announced that Donovan, Donovan Mitchell is on the streak. By that time, you'll have to find out if he gets more. Rudy Gobert with the first personal foul starting the second half. Chris Paul never realized he would have got a shot. That buff that basket in. But Chris Paul's gonna have to take two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Only one team foul for for Utah. Chris Paul hits the first free throw in. The most vocal players in this league. See Many at that time really like to see what is going league. on. But mostly important is Chris Paul is keeping an eye on his road, and that was his 45th birthday yesterday. And he's been playing really hard that time since uh, he made it, since there was a top 10 uh, Chris Paul movements on the highlights in every year, every season, and a best shot ever. Donovan Mitchell with a slide step and with 16 points. 16 points for Donovan Mitchell. Gallinari hits the screen. The dish to Gallinari. A pass, and it's dropped in as Chris Paul gets his first assist. Three assists. Am I saying that wrong? I better not. I better not think about it. But Donovich to O'Neal. Donovich to the three. The rebound by Adams as Bogdanovich went missing. That turned into no coverage. Pass to Gorgix Alexander. And it's stolen by Bogdanovich. That's the that's three turnovers for uh, OKC. They're not picking up open spots. Finding is Conley. That one's good for uh, for the two. Conley with ten points. Because of his quickness and wingspan, he plays bigger than his size. Last season, Mike Conley became the Grizzlies. Throw it around. Two points is good. He was already right around a Gobert. And there, and there's the uh, first spin spin move, and then with that, he didn't find it, so he went the other way. Jazz leading by three. Jazz leading by three. Conley against Paul with only uh, ten points for Conley and two points for Paul. And a rebound, and a rebound by Gillinari will take it from here. Two minutes of Passes up to Gallinari. Back to Adams, right over to Chris Paul. With a tie, yes! Gallinari ties the scoreboard and assist by Paul. That's four assists by for OKC as Chris Paul delivers the uh, delivers the call out the open pass. Conley against Paul finds O'Neal. Passes up to Mitchell. Mitchell right in. Rebound by Gobert. Reversing right around the rim, and there's number two for Gobert. A bit overmatched, especially inside. Shay passes to Adams. The tie, and the foul goes on Gobert. That's his third personal foul. City, they have shot nine of eleven at the free throw line. Nine out of eleven at the free 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 throw line for OKC. Steven Adams going to give it a shot to tie it. That's his, and this is his first trip to the free throw line. That's right. You know what I'm talking about. That's the same kind of hairstyle like Ruby Rubio used to be. Here's a check in for OKC. Shay, the Gordix Alexander, or York, or South Daff. Diallo and Ferguson to check back in. Ingles comes in for but for O'Neal. Donovan Mitchell and Conley are subbed out, and O'Neal switches to shooting guard after Moutier is checked in. He didn't pick up a tie for Steven Adams, but left it, left it off by one. O'Neal against Diallo, pass to Bogdanovich. 
Moutier outside, only six points. For Moutier. Open pass, shot. Misses from outside. Going down by four minutes. Steven Adams only has one. Paul rolling in in the lead. That's four points for uh, Chris Paul. What a slight move and a scoop. And here's Moutier. Here, three forty-five remaining. Moutier finds Gobert. He kicks it off to Ingles, right from O'Neal. O'Neal, covered by Diallo. O'Neal trying to get a shot open. The lead doesn't go in. Gobert leads it in. Gobert, when it comes to rebounding, it's not just no man guarding on Gobert, but Stephen Adams has to do it. Shot by Diallo is good, and he makes a wide open shot and the finish. And that's already resulted in the drive. Lead changes. OKC battling out from Utah to win the series or get or get pushed up. O'Neal against Yellow passes to Gobert. Gobert right outside, pass to Moutier. Shot clock at five. Shot clock, down to five. Moutier sending the two. Timeout going on by OKC. They are fixing the offensive adjustment, and they need some help here, while they also take some notes down and fixing guides. We'll be right here with you at Utah. Chris Paul checked out as Dennis Schroeder is checked in. And also we have some making some changes here. Gallinari and Adams are checked out. And then it's Muscala and Noel back in. And then by Jazz, Rudy and O'Neal. O'Neal and Clarkson back in. Gobert with another block shot. Clarkson up. The drive is good. The Utah Jazz are looking forward to finish and crush the OKC, but that doesn't mean they're going to have to do it. They want to, to win the finals. If off the foul on Clarkson, that's a second. Third team foul for Utah. Coach Snyder looking silent, trying to uh, pick up, a, pick up the, the defensive uh, routine. Shooting two is the yellow. Diallo hits the first free throw. Just 2.14 left to play. They're going to be a close neck to neck call if he makes another one in. The Saints, too. Now they're neck to neck each other. O'Neal only has uh, six points. I thought it's eight points, but I, I don't know. Gobert, fade away, jumper is good. That's ten points for uh, Gobert. And sent back by Gobert. Went too quick here, but not enough to keep up with it. Ingles pass to Clarkson. Almost took it away, and it's turned over. Last touch by Clarkson, and that's OKC ball. Conley's back in, checking in by O'Neal. One forty-one left to play in the third quarter. Noel. Against Gobert. Dennis Schroeder kicking it over to Diallo. Diallo gets it over to Schroeder. Screen on Noel. The shot over Gobert. And that one's good. Diallo got another one. And has 12 points. Not for that long. They're way in the lead right now. Only the points come up by Donovan Mitchell. Schroeder. 
but he beats every He ties it. Punch. Wait, he leads it. That's a That was a mistake. Uh, Dennis Schroeder leads the leads the point by one. And Schroeder has six points. Down to one minute. Down to one minute. Here's Clarkson. Clarkson against the yellow. Donovich with the screen. Three pointers off target. Thunder have gone 7-9 for the field. 7-9 on, on the field goal. Ferguson looking for a man to open. Here's Ferguson for Mike Conley. He finds Muscala. Muscala back to Ferguson. Back over to Muscala. For three for Schroeder. Rebound by Gobert as the man's our tough defender. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. Oh, Diallo! What a takeaway! And pulling it back by Clarkson. And they're going to have to take the lead if he makes it. Conley with the lead. No, didn't make it that time. That's the end of the third quarter. And they are battling out. 56 to 55, a close call. If Thunders have the lead, then they win. If the Utah Jazz is, if the Utah Jazz wins, then we are going to Game Seven. We'll be right back. With the neck and neck battle, we, this is the toughest battle that we have seen here so far between the uh, between Utah and OKC from Mountain Region. And central. And it's Conley with the ball for Utah. Right now, the fourth quarter has started. And right now is Gobert. Tough shot, but he made it in. And they and they take the lead. Now Schroeder only has uh six points. Finds Ferguson. Trying to hold it, but recovered it. 11 feet away. 11 feet away. Misses off, Misses off target. Almost went out of goaltending by Gobert. Mitchell finds Conley. Conley with the shot. Jumper off target. Ingles missed it. The rebound didn't never get a chance to uh, come back in. But this didn't work out well enough. Truder missing. Oh man, he hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just... Conley against Muscala finds Mitchell. A little over a minute. Mitchell with a shot. Not on a streak move as he missed again. Shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Ferguson right over shooter. He went out of bounds. That turns it over to Jazz's ball. Ingles trying to stop on him, not picking up that time. After some changes, here's Paul Diallo. Paul Gallinari. And then it's uh, Dort. 11 feet out, picking up the lead. Aubert, strong move. Timeout, OKC. Under 5.30 left. They're looking at the tie, saying, saying this game is not over. We are not done, and we are not quitting here. They are pulling the pace in. And now we have a new change as Stephen Adams is back in, subbing by Noel. Break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. Here's David Aldridge. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, break it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Get it? And he gets it back. And he gets it back after the block by Dort. And then Adams with the rebound. What a, what a hard shot this is. And it hits the rim. After the follow-up by a shot, and Chris Paul delivers it off to make another bucket count. And Gallinari would have put the screen on him. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Jazz picking up the streak to get away from the OKC's record. With the point, Conley. Shot up. It's holded by Adams. That's rebound number seven for Adams. Dort makes the lead. 
Thunder, Thunder leaps, leaps one. Right and what a stop for Dort as he picks up a drive right around Clarkson without a foul. Calling on Utah. So it's Utah now. Now it's Utah on offense. Conley finds Clarkson rolling in from Gobert. Gobert missing. Oklahoma City is getting off to an 0-2 start from downtown. 0-2 start from a downtown right away. Dorp finds Gallinari, and he drains it in. Gallinari's got the lead up to three now for Oklahoma City. That's three points for uh, OKC for for, uh, for Gallinari. And Gallinari has 15. Three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Just under four minutes, Mitchell. Against Gilgorgic, Alexander Gobert going in. The foul's on Adams, his third personal foul. Not a good rejection that time, and not a great defender. Went for meltdown. Two shots. Gobert taking two shots. After the first one, a new group will come in. Here are new groups for uh, for Jazz as Ingles and Clarkson are subbed out. Bogdanovich and O'Neal are back in. Utah is going with right now. Bogdanovich comes in for Joe Ingles, and O'Neal subbed in for Jordan Clarkson. Gobert with only one shot, going the neck again. He is. He makes it in, too, and they are, and they are down by one. Going for a going for a lead that time. They want to stop the ball and go to game seven. Dort over the ball, over to Paul. Paul goes in. He what a spot by Gobert and streaked on him. O'Neal with the lead. That cuts it through it by one point. It's a tight one. A tight one for O'Neal. And then Gobert got it again. Paul. Dorf are outside. Not in a lead, and they missed it. The three pointers off the line for Mitchell without assist. Finds Gallinari. Leads it. 17 points for Gallinari. And a great pass by Gil Gorgeous Alexander. Looking to shut them down in the uh, in uh, game six, but uh, but Utah Jazz needs to shut them down too. Conley, right over to Gobert, right to Mitchell. Double screen, almost put a legal screen. It's Paul. It's blocked by Paul. Adams against Gobert. Deep pass, Dort. Need to get right up through. Finding motion here. Paul outside. Finding his way through. Recovered. Shot for Gilgorgic Alexander. Missed. And that's no good for another shot for Gilgorgic Alexander. Harley. Right around it. Trying to get there. Tough D. Put back by Bogdanovich. You cannot. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. When it's an important point in the game, they're looking for Gallinari passed the ball. Gilgoris Alexander with the shot. Missed it. The three missed it off target on the outside. Up to the strike. Conley stopped the ball. Chris Paul trying to put a foul. It. And there's a foul going on. Chris Paul is first. The next one should be two on one. By Shea, and they're going back the other way. Adams for the lead. The Thunder without a miss and not a shot putting it back in. Conley against Shea, the Gorgeous Alexander finds Donovich and handles it. 
and a Jazz's team are way ahead, folks. They're going right for game seven if they miss. Adams, right to Chris Paul. With a tie, missed off the target. Foul on Dort is first. And we're going to have to challenge that thing. Wait, that's not what I want to call it. So that's going to be have to be a personal foul if there's going to be enough call here by Billy Donovan. I don't know if it's going to be the I don't know if it's going to be the uh, personal foul that's going to happen right here. If it's a personal foul, then it's going to be two on one. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, let's take a look from here. This is what's happening here when he lost the ball. I'm trying to go for the pick on him. Let's see what the let's see what the ref has to say from here. And so the word is in, they have decided that the call stands. The call stands for a personal foul, and the timeout will go by OKC Funders by 40.3 seconds. Not even picking up some pacing that time, they need to fix a defense. Here's your Jordan player of the game. Um, from the game, it's Rudy Gobert with four blocks. A tough shot with the rebound, strong movement. And how and how deep how much D do you have to put as pressure on him? There's a lot of choices that you have to go to have to call it with that with that shot. And the Thunder going with the whole new Thunders are just ha happening too much time and now the two on one will be O'Neal. After the call stands for personal foul, he'll be shooting two. It's the first. They are pulling right out of the way. O'Neal makes two. 40.3 seconds to go. Finds Diallo. A foul on Gobert. His fourth personal foul. And a game clock stopped 32 seconds. Now shooting two. We'll have to pull it up by by Diallo. The first shot went in. And we'll have to find it out if, he, if he's going to have to like make it one and then go for it the other way. He sends two free throws. Now, taking a half court. I don't know if it's going to be the right call, but that might not be it. Conley, right away. Timeout. Funders. Their final timeout. OKC decides to take the final final timeout. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now I'll have to just watch it, watch the uh, watch the play here, and try to focus on anything here, right from right from the right from in the position. So after the timeout, they're back up. Last possession for uh, OKC this time. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth. Shot for Basley. No good. Sure. Next time Fouls on Schroeder, his first personal, by his personal foul. Fourth team foul of OKC, and they are having a hard time to keep the show in. Chris Paul finding his way to go against Harden. But they say that they assume that they are going to face against the Rockets if they win. And so with that, Mitchell delivers two. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. The shot's good for the first bucket, Basley. Stop the clock at 7.3 seconds. Diallo with the first. Line for two, Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell at the line for two. 
Missed, missed the first one, but now the changes are on. Only one shot for Mitchell. William goes to Yang Davis and Bradley. One shot for Dave, for Mitchell. He makes it at that time. Don Mitchell saying, quote, and saying this, you think the game is over? You think again. We are not done yet. What a three by Schroeder. Utah calling timeout with 1.3 seconds. I can't believe it. If they're going to have to do this all over again, then they need somebody to get the buzz beater done and go to overtime. This is something killing is happening. All right, I, I just made some changes here, and now uh, last possession for the Jazz. The foul going on Diallo in second. And Donovan Mitchell will have to get out of here. Drops the first one. Second one is good. It's a five-point game, and that's the knockout blow right there. And the Jazz are tied up, and we are heading to Game 7, the showdown on its way. Yes, Jazz saying, we are not done yet. We want more. We want to win the whole thing. So that being said, 76 to 71 is your final score. Let's catch it up on David Aldridge about Rudy Gobert. Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. You picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I feel like we're focusing the first half defensively and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we do. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. With only six blocks by Rudy Gobert, he was lucky to be here and wants to be back again to face it on uh, all points above. That being said, thank you so much for watching for Game 6. Next time we will have is the, uh, is the, oh, what do you call that? The Houston Rockets against the Nuggets in the Western Conference standings in Game 6 back at Houston. And then Game 6, and then another one in Game 6, the Raptors against the Nets back at Brooklyn. And then uh, finally we have is, uh, let's see, and then finally Celtics versus the Bucks in game six also as well. While, uh, while uh, the Lakers are waiting for somebody to, uh, to play against, well, they're going to be playing against the Mavericks in the second round. So that's the point. And about that being said, uh, I don't know if it's going to be, uh, I don't know if the Lakers are going against the, uh, the Mavericks or the Jazz taking on against the Lakers. We're not sure what's going to happen right here, but uh, we're happy enough to be here. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. As until next time, peace out, bitches. Until a while as the as, uh, NBA playoff dial. Peace out, boys.